Success is not about getting it done. It is about still dreaming and feeling positive in the unfolding. So anyway, that it was such it was such a beautiful place. And then about a week or so ago, in, in my mastermind group, you know, when we're doing our check-in, and uh, all I had to report is that it's all done. I really felt I was in a place of nothing else needs to be done. It's done. But um, well, that feeling I'm <laughs> that feeling that you're feeling, that feeling that you're feeling, when that blissful feeling that you're feeling is you are focused upon the well-being. That that feeling is alignment and then that dip that you're feeling the sort of choking you up a little bit that's a slight attention to the absence of something wanted or a, or a, a, a sensation of not being quite there not quite getting I'm, why can't I be here all the time why can't I always be in this high flying good place and we want to say to you you don't need to always be in it because now you've tasted both you can just lean in one direction the direction that pleases you most and the thing that we most want you to hear this is the piece that you are looking for and that is the positive embracing of negative emotion let's, let's just rest with that for a minute the positive embracing of negative emotion my guidance system is working because this is how I mold the clay in other words in the same way that you might want to get your hands in the clay and you might want to feel what you're doing with them you want to get your hands in this vibrational clay and feel what you're doing with them and so it's fine-tuning is is what it's about it's fine-tuning Esther often she'll be talking about Jerry and she'll find herself sort of weeping a little with whoever she's talking about and she she goes like this I'm okay I'm okay I'm not sad I'm not sad I'm not sad she insists and she, she means it I'm not sad this is just a tender moment I'm not sad I'm not sad I, this isn't grief you're seeing this isn't pain you're seeing I'm not sad this is just a tender moment and that's sort of in other words your emotions are your clay and mm -hmm. you want to get a handle on them you want to learn to direct them and you're doing very well so we're going to stop talking now and, and let you talk because you expect to get some good work done here. Let's do it. Okay. Um, so anyway, it, it, well, it kind of boils down to where's my stuff, but uh, <laughs> doesn't it always? It kind but of boils here, down to where's here's my stuff, but don't you want to say, but I'm but. way past that. Don't you want to say that? I say yeah. that. I'm, <laughs> I'm way past that. I'm way past. All right. So but that. I, so, but I, 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 I see, am. Wait, wait, you, wait, 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 wait. I said it first. <laughs> We're having fun, right? <laughs> you always got the front seat, didn't you? So, <laughs> so, so this vibrational reality that we're talking about, that we are trying to get you to acknowledge your yes. awareness of. So if there is a vibrational reality, we, you see, we want, we know that if this time space reality has caused you to want it, that this time space reality has to give it to you. And if it's stalled out, as our friend said, if it's, mm -hmm. if it's slower than you want it to be, it can be for only one reason. You're, you're looking where it isn't instead of feeling where it is. And that's why if we can distract you from the need for the manifestation in order to have your celebration. If we can distract you from the need to see it before you feel it if you can feel it before you see it then you see we think a lot of people are afraid if they feel it before they see it then the universe will say well he's feeling it and never mind but it doesn't work out that way if you can feel it before you see it it must come and it will and it will bring with it new contrast that will make you feel further for it in other words you're not well, ever going to get it done well here's here's the difficult part for me or the part that uh, I need a little clarification with yeah. is that there are certain things that I'm doing that I feel like I've created that I've designed a life that I want to have that I'm working on this stuff to move forward to create this dream that I have did you do it thought and, or action did you do it with well, well, you did you do it first. through did you but we're, we're just asking you did how did it come about did, in other words when when you were in the process of that were you aware of emotion were you molding oh, I your felt emotion great about it were you deliberately offering thoughts in order to affect your emotion or were you more in an action oriented um, behavior offering thoughts to affect emotion you know that's a good question it's kind of like chicken or the egg no it isn't 
Um, it, because because I, we're, we are asking you, were you were then did you know about vibration? Then were you thinking about law of attraction? No. Then, so so. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't doing it. That you know where that, I was, I wasn't happy, and then. I decide, you know, I had a thought of, oh, this would be nice. This is making me happy. This is what I want to do. This is, you know, I'm, I'm following this because I like it. You know, I'm, I'm happy and I'm joyful and I feel energetic and it's a powerful thing. And, and like, uh, you know, the house, I mean, God damn, I've lived in that house. I don't know how many times I've walked through those rooms. I've seen people in there. We've had great times in that place. And, you know, we're going to lose it. Um, choice of uh, income. You know, I've had such moments of clarity at it. And uh, just can't fucking make it happen. Well, do you think that there, can you feel momentum in... Oh, why? Huh? Great. <laughs> can you... It's all, it's all right. They're all yeah, on your side. Okay. <laughs> can... <laughs> you see... Do you That's the thing. It's something that so beautiful, and wonderful, but I can't get there. And I've had this stuff. I've had these moments, and it's felt complete. And yet, when I go to do what it is that I want to do to make it happen, there's no fucking connection. It's just it's. You know, hit the wall, fall down. Hit the wall, fall down. Well, that's because you're leading with action instead of with vibration. Mm -hmm. And it's it's natural that you would be because you're sort of in a react, reactionary state. But the reason that we are sort of starting starting with the annoying questions about vibration is because if you... We just want to say the way you've been approaching it has, has led you to something that you would deem not where you want to be. Mm -hmm. But where you stand right now we don't see as a place that you don't want to be because we understand the bounce that you're going to get out of it or the bounce that you've already gotten out of it we understand the the bounce and what has now happened in the vortex that as you relax and allow it to come about is not just going to soothe you it's going to sort of send you to the moon in in the sense of uh, your understanding that you are a deliberate creator and that you can turn things around it's hard when you're in the middle of a downward momentum slide. It's hard to bless the momentum that feels like it's carrying you. Mm -hmm. But in the same way that we were asking you to be happy about law of attraction or that we would be, we would ask you to be happy about gravity, even if it's in a moment that you're falling out of an airplane with no parachute. Still, if you can step back from the specifics of what you're living and acknowledge that gravity in and of itself is a very good thing and it serves you much more than it hinders you even in an uncomfortable moment and that law of attraction is a very good thing and it serves you even in an uncomfortable moment that you can take the bounce from the discomfort that you're living right now and understand that it, it not only can but certainly will lead you to something that is much more satisfying and that it could turn around as soon as right now if we could convey it to you in a way that you could really feel it but again words don't teach mm -hmm. so they help but you know. <laughs> say again i say they help but uh you know the uh actual experience i mean i i work i work or learn things best in a uh, journeyman apprentice uh, um, environment anyway you know, you can tell me about it, but, you know, just show me once and help me through it. And, you know, that's probably all I need. When, when something really matters a lot, it tends to get an inordinate amount of your attention. And when it's moving in the direction that you don't want it to move, mm -hmm. then that inordinate attention increases that momentum. And the thing that is so confounding about it to you, the thing that makes you just feel that disgust and, and rage is that a part of you knows that it doesn't have to be that way. A part of oh, it knows yeah. that a part of you knows that you're smarter than this. A part of you knows that if you could just get hold of it and apply yourself in a different way, you could turn it around. Mm -hmm. We want you to make momentum your friend too. In other words, it, the thing that we so want to convey to you in a way that you can really feel it is that sliding in opposition to what you want 
doesn't indicate bad creation. It indicates strong determination. If you really want something and you're focused in opposition to it, it's really, really uncomfortable. If you don't care at all, then your, opposi your opposition thought doesn't hinder you at all. And so when you feel strong about something like you do, there's very, very, very good news in that. And the good news is there's strong, 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 strong momentum. Now, we want to help you to understand something about momentum. Because so far in this conversation, it's felt like we're talking about momentum that's taking you in the opposite direction of where you want to be. Mm -hmm. But momentum, oh, momentum is never, ever taking you in the opposite direction of where you want to be. Hear this. Momentum is always source energy moving toward something that you really, really want. But in opposite vibration, in opposing personal thought vibration, the momentum that is really leading toward where you want to go feels awful as you are pulling against it. Now, did you get that? This momentum, this is not a downward slide that you're upon. This is an upward slide. This is the universe lining everything up to give you everything that you want. That's what's really happening. But where you're standing within it, and almost anybody would understand it, you're pulling in such opposition that it feels to you like the momentum is going in the opposite direction because you're taking score of current manifestation instead of understanding the power of the momentum. It would be a little bit like if you were garnering the impetus that you were going to shoot something far, 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 far out into space. But so far, the rocket hasn't been launched. So it's just sitting there in a resistant state. In other words, it wants to go, but they've got it all strapped down. And so it looks like it's going to tear the whole launch pad up if somebody just doesn't cut, cut it loose and let it go. And that's what we want you to focus on here. Mm -hmm. This momentum that feels like downward spiral is not a downward spiral. It's an upward spiral that you're not flowing with yet that's all that it is whenever you're happy whenever you're feeling appreciation whenever you're noticing the positive aspects of someone or something you're vibrating in harmony with what you do want